We all lived at Nine Pierce Field Place with my family, my cousins, brothers and sisters, aunties, everyone. My little girl in the middle, my two cousins, and my little brother, and my neighbour. We were just relaxing in the street. I think it was a hot summer's day, and we were all shattered. We used to just play um, spot on, hide and seek, just around the streets, kicking a football round, hopscotch. There was less cars, less traffic. It was very safe to play on. The whole streets changed, really. There's a lot more traffic, a lot more cars. The children don't play them sort of games, hopscotch. Um, like they might play the odd bit of football, but they're not on the streets anymore. Jane, Jane, my daughters are five and when I photograph them, they're five and taken on a little bike. Um, she had a pram as well. Um, we also had a rabbit, a big white rabbit, which my other daughter, Tina, used to stick in a doll's pram and be pushing her up and down the street. And then escape one day and were chasing the rabbit up the street, getting the rabbit. <laughs> but I mean, you couldn't do that today, and you couldn't let her play, the little one play on the bike up there today because of the cars now coming down the street, up the street, along Cardiff roads like a motorway now. She said, when I said, got, she got the echo and seen the photograph, she said, oh, she said, you that was dangerous. I said, well, no, Jane. There was no, no one had cars in the street. Everyone got cars in the street. That street now, you can't get down there. Mm. You know, everyone didn't have a car. And it was really safe. Well, we were playing a game called Snail, which involved chalking a big, huge snail on the, the road. We'd segment the snail off and we had to hop to the centre without touching the segment lines and hop back. If we'd done that, we could put our initials in a square the next person couldn't go on that square. So we got harder and harder, and as good, you know, I was pretty good. <laughs> so, you know, I'd have a full snail of names and no one could have a go. <laughs> I was raised here uh, where the photographs were taken. I live about 500 yards that way, wait for this car to stop. But there weren't cars in those days. <laughs> there were cars, obviously, but not as much. So, yeah, this was our playground, the mountains, uh, the fields. Um, yeah. When I was brought up, we used to play football on the roads. Um, I remember we used to paint a goal on the wall so we could just play neatly sometimes all day on the road because there were uh, so little cars. I used to enjoy the freedom and uh, everyone knew each other and we used to get along uh, sometimes like everyone else but uh, and everyone looked out for each other so yeah. I, but you know I don't mean, mean to sound romantic. I remember computer games arriving uh, at Spectrum 48k or something and I suppose we did tend to play indoors more then, so times were a changing, if you like. I think they're playing hopscotch because the girls like skipping and um, you can see a bit teeny bit the marks as well. I don't think it's very safe to play indoors because there's too many cars. Like there's like the whole street is literally like full of cars. Well, what I like about the photo is that they look like they're enjoying themselves. Like now, you'd you'd be a bit um, like anxious whether to go out and to go out and play because there's lots of cars. I'm not allowed to play in the streets, so yeah, I normally play in the park. I mean, it's quite dangerous to play on the street now, but then it'd probably be quite safe. We are your six of Gorgia Gregg Primary School and we want to play free. Yeah.